What's going on, my peoples? I'm gonna do a quick little video, man. Um, pulling doubles and food service. Um, shout out to Bink Trucking and Fitness. Y'all make sure to check him out. <clears throat> um, he asked me to do a video on some information about pulling doubles and food service. Well, I can speak on that because I used to pull doubles here. And um, basically, pulling doubles and food service, usually your DC supplies what you call drop yards and what a drop yard is is basically um areas where you drop a trailer in a yard <laughs> but it's basically areas where um you have drivers that work out of that particular yard it's usually anywhere from four to six drivers not that many um so that they don't have to come all the way to the dc and it's just better for the company it just makes sense you know um it's a lot of drop yards man food service um companies have a lot of drop yards um we got a lot of drop yards uh cisco got drop yards um qcd got drop yards just about every single company man have drop yards and um you'll see you'll see um truck drivers pulling um doubles down the road Pulling a double 53, pulling a triple. Um, I always see QCD. They're always pulling their double 53s. Always see them up and down the turnpipe. Um, we pull double 36s. Sometimes we pull a, a 36 and a 22. Um, we don't we don't pull a double 48 um, because usually out of a drop yard, uh, most of the guys they're they're running they're using a puppy. <laughs> I said puppy like you guys will understand what I mean they use a 22 foot trailer you know we call that a pup you know um, they use a 22 foot trailer so we oftentimes we pull in a 22 um, pulling doubles man it's, it's not a it's not a bad it's not a bad gig uh, it's not gonna pay as much as touching cases but it's less physical and um, you can have a good career pulling doubles and it's not a job where it's not necessarily a job where you have to wait in line i don't think so because um it's not a lot of job it's not like it's a job where you just gotta wait on that position you know um just look for an opening and apply because it's not like there's a lot of guys here with their hands up waiting to pull doubles because it's just not you know um doubles usually pay a flat rate which is a fairly decent rate i don't know how much um they make over there at cisco i met um the fresh point guys one time and they was making pretty good money pulling doubles um my homeboy he used to pull doubles for qcd and he was getting paid fair you know um but you will not make the same amount of money as us throwing cases you know what I mean? Um, pulling doubles, man, you got to be careful, man. You got to drive safe. Um, got to take your time. You know what I mean? Pulling doubles, to me, is fun, you know? Um, I just, I don't know. I just like the fact that I'm pulling two trailers, man, you know? Um, it's just a good look, you know? Um, you got to be very careful when you're hooking up that dolly, man. You got to watch your fingers. You don't want that. You don't want your finger to get, let me tell you. If your fingers anyhow like is in that pin once you release you probably you probably kiss your finger goodbye um you gotta check double check and recheck recheck your connection because yo <laughs> you want to make sure everything is all right once you're out there pulling doubles you know what i mean um when i used to pull doubles to the keys you guys been to the Florida Keys? Um, if you haven't, um, you need to get down there. You know, this uh, when you get down to the bottom, it's a one, it's like a one way road, right? So when you pull in doubles, man, you got to be careful not to miss your um, exit because, especially down there in the Keys, it's not like you're driving a tractor trailer where you can just bust a U-turn anywhere, man. You, you know, it's like calculated where you can where you got to turn at you know what i mean um one thing i can tell all the doubles drivers man um for safety reasons um 
if you're driving, man, because most of the guys that pull doubles, they they work overnight. If you're driving and you find yourself getting tired, man, pull over, man, and um, you know, put her on break, take a little nap, refresh, go in, wash your face, grab some coffee, you know, because yo, pulling doubles can get dangerous, man, you know, um, but. That's just my information I got on doubles, man. Um, it's usually, it's usually um, pulling doubles to me. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't like it, and the reason I didn't like it is because it got kind of boring to me, man. I, I like the interaction with people. I like. Um, I like the in fact that I was um, interacting with my customers and stuff every day. Pulling doubles, um, it used to be like an overnight job. I start at nine o'clock. I used to end in the morning. And my night turned into day and my day turned into night. And it's like, you're just driving, man, and driving and driving and driving. You know what I mean? So I personally, i rather throw in, throw in cases than to pull doubles, you know what I mean? And the fact, the fact of the matter is that we made more money um, throwing case than pulling doubles. But I mean, if you want something easy in the food service industry, you might want to look into pulling doubles. You know what I mean? Um, just, just, just apply. You know what I mean? And I know a lot of guys when they get their when they got their CDL, they um got their doubles on their license their tankers and their hazmat and they get all this stuff on their license they never use it <laughs> you know what i mean if it's if it's one thing you can do yourself a favor um wherever you work even if you're not gonna pull doubles um whatever company you work with just get with your manager man get with your transportation manager get with a supervisor and just let them know yo um can i train on doubles just to know that you can do it, you know what I mean? Um, I advise every food service driver, get your doubles, man, and um, get some training on it. Yo, the doubles is in the yard. I'm pretty sure every food service company have a doubles, so I would advise you, get your doubles and ask for some training. You, you get free training on the doubles right there. You know what I mean? Let them train you, and um, as soon as you get your training, you know, you got your doubles experience. I haven't pulled doubles in a couple of years, so my plan was actually to um like go refresh. So I'm gonna get with the doubles guys, check out their schedule. And the only thing I need to know is to go over the connection. You know what I mean? I know once I start doing it, it'll come like that. But you know when you ain't do something in a long time, it's just like riding a bicycle, but it's a lot of safety. It's a lot of safety standards about pulling doubles, man. You know what I mean? You're responsible for two trailers. You know what I mean? Um, and you also you also gotta know where to put your heavy, where to put your light. You know what I mean? Um, compare your heavy to light. Compare your 36s to 22s. You know, you got to know which one to put in front, which one to put in the back. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, man. Um, if you guys are interested in pulling doubles, man, just, um, you know, um, keep an eye out for any company that's hiring doubles. Get your doubles on the, your license, man, and they'll train you. It's not hard, guys. Um, it's not hard. You know, I know you guys see the double 53-foot trailers going down the highway. And you guys are looking at it like, damn, how they do that? It's not hard, man. Um, and the turns, to, to turn in a double, believe it or not, it's like you're turning a, um, it's weird because it's like you're turning a regular truck. And I know you guys are like, like, what you mean turning a regular truck? You got an extra trailer. I'm telling you, it's like turning a regular truck. And I'm pretty sure all the double guys can agree with me. Um, you got to understand that your lead, your lead, your back trailer is just going to follow your lead. That's all. It, it's nothing to overthink. 
yeah you do have to take a little bit extra spacing but not that much I, um new guys that pull doubles you're gonna see them take like extra extra space they're gonna be extra precaution extra cautious and that's only right you know um yo i'm glad i got my experience in doubles man um it's something that i can keep with me um a matter of fact i got all my endorsements the only endorsements that fell off that i got was hazmat because i didn't need it you know um and i don't see the point of paying for something if i don't need it you know what i mean so yo if y'all put doubles if y'all got doubles in y'all um yard just um do what y'all gotta do man and get some training you know what i mean free training you know what i mean hey the more you know the more you grow you feel me so let me know what y'all think about this one man you guys have a good day out there and stay blessed it's a wednesday let's make this a great day you know how we do it